Glory, hallelujah, the Lord is good and his mercies endure it forever. The Lord Almighty bless you this morning as you listen to the sound of my voice. As usual, again, I welcome you to I Prevail with, with Joseph Adenuga. This is the daily broadcast that the Lord commanded me to give, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you. This morning, as you listen, the Lord will bless you, remove every obstacle and turn them to miracle, take you from grass to grace, put in your hands the things that you will need to make a success of your life, connect you with people that will help you to make it. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today, the Spirit of the Lord put it in my heart to speak on this topic, which I titled, Why do people who know fail? Why do Christians who really know about the Word of God, they can quote the Word of God, but nothing seems to be working? Why are we failing as Christians? That is what I want to look into this morning. And as you listen, the Lord will bless you and give you more understanding than the vocabulary that I speak and express. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, um, the reason is that when we look at the scriptures, the Bible says that say ye unto the righteous, it shall be well with you. The Bible also says that we are more than conquerors through Christ that loved us. He also said that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. The Bible also says that all things are possible to him that believe. I know so many people who can swear with their life that they believe and yet it seems as if nothing is happening. Why are we failing even though we think we believe? This is the reason. The Bible says in the book of um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 3, it says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not fight after the flesh. We do not battle after the flesh. You see, the reason why many people fail is that we base our actions and everything we do after the flesh. We base everything we think about and do after the flesh, but not after the spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 2 says, The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. You see, as long as we walk in the flesh, as long as we base our life only on the flesh, we will not understand why we are not making it. We must switch into the spirit. The Bible says that anyone that is in that Hebrew, I mean Romans chapter 8, when you continue to read from verse 3, he said to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life. When you are carnally minded, meaning you are not thinking of the spirit, you are not doing the things of the spirit, even though you say, I pray. You see, there are some prayers we pray in the flesh, and there are some prayers we pray in the spirit. When we are not in the spirit, then, and when we allow the flesh to be the overruling factor of our life, we think according to the flesh, we behave according to the flesh, then the spirit have no right of way. There's no way for that kind of a Christian to make it. So what did the Bible say? He said, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. And you will not fulfill the desire of the flesh. How do we walk in the spirit? Briefly, let me just give you two. Number one, when we begin to worship in the spirit from the depth of our heart. Praises and worship takes us nearer to the realm of the spirit. Number two, when we speak with tongues. When we begin to speak with tongues, we are immediately catapulted into the spirit realm. And in the spirit realm, we receive a lot of information on how to live. Let me tell you, the Bible says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. These weapons, are you using them? Are you using the weapon of worship? Are you using the weapon of speaking in tongues? 
Are you using the weapon of fasting? These things will take us straight into the spirit realm. And as long as we continue to operate in the spirit realm, we will never lose any battle. We will never fall down to the devil. And this is where I'm going to stop today. Today is Sunday. Make sure you go to church. If you're in Bethlehem Free State, please come to Prevailing Church. The power of God is available to heal you and to deliver you. If you're in Johannesburg area, we, we have our church in Springstown. 46 Elberti Court, opposite Top Center Club, 2nd Street, is where the church is located. Come and the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are able to hear this because of faithful partners who every month sponsor this ministry so that we can send this word to more people around the world. God bless our partner. If you receive this by a rebroadcast or from any other medium, which is apart from WhatsApp, and you have WhatsApp, and you want to receive this directly on your WhatsApp every day, just save my number with I Prevail. My number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one. Save it right now and go to your WhatsApp. Just send me a message. Say, add me. I will add you from tomorrow. You will receive this. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.